Hello everyone, this is Sir Amal. Please do subscribe to my channel. In today's video, I will be talking about the process of glycogenolysis, which is the breakdown of glycogen into glucose. And you know what, right now I am also feeling a little bit hungry, but we have to get through this video first. So during that time, I hope that the process of glycogenolysis actually breaks down the glycogen in my body into glucose and provide me with the much needed energy to explain in detail the process of glycogenolysis. So let's get right into it. In the first step of glycogenolysis, the enzyme glycogen phosphorylase catalyzes the reaction in which an alpha 1,4 glycosidic linkage between two glucose residues is attacked by an inorganic phosphate or PI removing the terminal glucose residue as glucose 1-phosphate. Glycogen phosphorylase acts repetitively on the non-reducing ends on both the glycogen branch as well as on the main branch until it reaches the fourth glucose residue that is away from the branch points. So you can see here, this is glucose 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, glycogen phosphorylase will cleave the alpha glycosidic linkages on the branches as well as the main branch until it reaches this glucose residue number 4 which is the fourth glucose residue from the branch point until a glycogen molecule which is known as limit dextrin is formed. The glucose 1-phosphate molecules will enter glycolysis or in the liver will be converted into glucose 6-phosphate by the enzyme phosphoglucomutase. This reversible interconversion of glucose 1-phosphate into glucose 6-phosphate and vice versa forms an intermediate compound which is called glucose 1,6-bisphosphate which I have already uh, explained in detail in the video about glycogenesis and I'll link that video at the end of this video. The glucose 6-phosphate formed from glycogen in the skeletal muscle can then enter glycolysis and serve as an energy source to support muscle contraction. In the liver, however, glycogen breakdown release glucose into the blood to increase the blood glucose level when you have not been eating for a longer period of time. Yes, and this requires the enzyme glucose 6-phosphatase which is present only in the liver and kidneys but not other tissues. Glucose 6-phosphate in the liver as well as in the kidney will be converted into a free glucose molecule by the enzyme glucose 6-phosphatase. Glucose 6-phosphate will be transported into the lumen of the endoplasmic reticulum of both the liver cells and kidney cells where glucose 6-phosphatase will then break down glucose 6-phosphate into glucose and phosphate. Glucose will then leave the endoplasmic reticulum by a specific transporter and will be transported into the blood via a transporter which is known as GLUT2 transporter. After glycogen phosphorylase breaks down glycogen into limit dextrin, another enzyme will take over and continue the breakdown of glycogen and that enzyme is known as the debranching enzyme or oligo alpha 16 to alpha 14 glucan transferase. This particular enzyme catalyzes two successive reactions. First, the transferase activity of the enzyme shifts three glucose residues from the branch to a nearby non-reducing end of the main branch. And this activity is known as the transferase activity. And a new alpha-1,4 linkage is formed. The single glucose residue remaining at the branch point 
in the alpha-1,6 linkage is then released as free glucose by the action of the enzyme alpha-1,6 glucosidase activity. This is the second activity of the debranching enzyme. It acts on the alpha-1,6 linkage of the branch point, thus releasing the single glucose residue as a free glucose molecule. And once these branches are transferred and the single glucose residue is cleave at the uh, branch point, glycogen phosphorylase then resumes its activity and further breaks down the glycogen and release the glucose residues as glucose 1-phosphate from the main chain. And again, glucose 1-phosphate will either enter glycolysis in the muscle cells or will be converted into glucose 6-phosphate by the enzyme phosphoglucomutase in the liver where glucose 6-phosphate will then be broken down into a free glucose by the enzyme glucose 6-phosphatase. And that is how our bodies increases the blood glucose level between meals. And that is all about glycogenolysis. I hope you found this video helpful and if you do, hit that like button. And again, please subscribe to my channel. Now I'll go have my lunch and hopefully restore some of that glycogen in my body. Thank you.